CPHI MIS exam preparation question and answer. Question number 61. A full release in ITIL is defined as a, a bundle of full and or delta release and their related applications and infrastructure. A. B. All components of the software that are tested and distributed in its entirety. C. Partial emergency or temporary fix. And D. A release based on PDCA slash PDSA framework. Answer B. All components of software that are tested and distributed in its entirety. Question number 62. Pharmacist prescribing practice such as opiates have recently been highly publicized. Which approach will support providers as they start with your healthcare systems? A. Have a pharmacist team member teach how to write prescription in a rapid manner. B teach how to build quick order sets. C. Invite your pain management director along with your pharmacy team members to review support roles and process available. D. Show providers how to rapidly access decision support tools via phone apps. Answer C. Invite your pain management director along with your pharmacy team member to review support roles and process available explanation. Involving hot topic related guests to your onboarding class can help put new providers at ease. This will show your healthcare system has a strong support structure and that you understand pain points in health care systems. Question number 63. How do data quality issues impact data science results? A. Because EHR data is used to document healthcare, there are no data quality issues. B. Data quality can significantly impact results, making them biased or even invalid. C. Data quality issues can be ignored because machine learning and AI, artificial intelligence will take care of it. D. Poor data quality doesn't impact results because data quality issues disappear with enough data. Answer B. Data quality can significantly impact results making them biased or even invalid. Explanation. It is critical to understand how complete, consistent and correct your data is for the purpose that you have for data. Having more data may just give you more errors and using any data science technique on incorrect data will likely produce incorrect results. <coughs> Question number 64. A package release in ITIL is defined as A. A bundle of full and or delta release and their related applications and infrastructure. B. All components of software that are tested and distributed in its entirety. C. Partial, emergency or temporary fix. And D. A release based on PDCA slash PDSA framework. Answer A. A bundle of full and or delta release and their related applications and infrastructure. Question number 65. A good practice for exploratory data analysis is to use a number of techniques to visualize your data set. Which of the following is not good reason to visualize your data? A. Data visualization allows you to better understand and get to know your data. B. Human can spot visual pattern much better than looking at descriptive statistics. C. Visualization allows you to see the large amount of data summarized and simplified. Visualization look nicer than just have a uh, just having table of numbers.
answer D. Visualize, visualization looks nicer than just having a tables of numbers. Explanation: the reason, the reason visualization is so important that it engages the visual pattern matching center of your brain to allow you to see a relationship and trends in data that are hard to discern from tables of numbers. Question number 66. Many data sets have imbalanced data where there is much smaller amount of data for positive class classes than negative one. For example, the prevalence of a number of diseases is low in overall population, i.e. for example Ebola. This is the best method of evaluating the performance of classification model for imbalanced data. A. Accuracy B. F1 score C. Precision D. Recall Answer B. F1 score. Explanation. F1 score is the weighted average of precision and recall. Therefore, this score takes both false positives and false negatives into account. Intuitively, it is not easy to understand as accuracy, but F1 is usually more useful than accuracy, especially if you have an uneven class distribution. Question number 67. Which of the following are different level of testing except A. Unit testing B. Functional testing C. Regression testing and D. Shy square testing Answer D. Shy square testing Question number 68. Primary purpose of testing is A. To evaluate the system thoroughly to find bugs B. To allocate resources for testing C. To adequately test the system functionality D. To examine the system because testing can control the integrity of the process Answer A. To evaluate Answer A. To evaluate systems, how will you find bugs? Question number 69. Once data are properly prepared and clean, researchers should select the most appropriate modeling algorithm. Depending on the data and the research question, which modeling technique does not work well on the categorical variables? A. Classifications B. Linear regression C. Neural network D. Random for random forest Answer B. Linear regression Explanation Linear regression is appropriate for continuous variables category categorical variable can be directly used in random forest models. Techniques such as one hot encoding can be used to incorporate categorical variables into neural networks and other class classifiers. Question number 70. The governing board of healthcare organization approves and helps to formulate the long-term strategy of the healthcare organization. The CEO recommends and provides input to the strategy. The CIO has a big role in recommending and providing input to a strategy, especially from perspective of technology. Several factors are expressed in describe the strategy further. The expression of an organization are A. Mission, vision, values, goal. B. Initiating, planning, executing, close. C. Systems, people, process. And D. Strategic, operational and tactical. Answer A. Mission, Vision, Values and Goals. Question number 71. 